Well, there we have it, our last session for EduDrone 2019. We opened up with keynote speaker Sebastian Robertson from Birdie. Now, one of the things that I really liked about his talk was his example of using drone footage to promote the sport of touch football. And I love drones, love touch, so that was really mixing together applications that, that I thought that was fabulous. Now, he also had some statistics around the growth of the industry over the next few years, and in particular, the huge growth of the expected number of drone pilots that will be required over the next few years. But as brought up by Paul, are those drone pilots going to be looking the same or have those same sorts of job descriptions as the drone pilot that we might know of today? And I think the expectation is that it's, it's going to be less about the people that just have that, those manual flight skills. And as we've heard all week, it's not about the drone, but it is, it's about what you're able to do with it and, and how you're pulling data off it, how you're going to process that data and what sort of applications and, and skills you have behind that so just a little it's quite a bit more than just those those straight flight skills and I think that also came out then when Adam Hooper was was talking so Adam's a primary school teacher at Edge Hill State School here in Cairns and and again that that idea of it's it's integrating it into the curriculum and building into problem solving so it, it's not just about flying and I, and I think that we see that when we look at being able to justify to principals or other funding bodies why it is that you might want to buy buy drones. And it's not just that it's the shiny new toy, but where can you build it into the curriculum? I also liked there were some really good examples of, of using drones in, in emergency management and disaster response as well. So that followed on nicely from Joe Thompson's talk the other night. I like John Coulomb's reflection back to thinking about what it was like when he was a firefighter and how much easier and better it would have been if he had have had access to drone technology and just really the, the idea of how much safer operations could have been at that time. And so it's really good to see them now getting used in, in emergency services more and more. I covered off on a range of different applications that we use drones for and using them to engage with STEM without actually promoting as STEM because we know that once people self-identify as being the STEM type, there's all sorts of stereotypes that go along with that. So thinking about how we can draw people in without them necessarily realizing that that's what they're doing. So that's the idea of doing it by stealth. So I hope you've enjoyed the week-long conference, whether you've attended it live or watching the replays. Of course, being replays, you can watch them as many times as you like and binge watch as you need. Once again, thanks very much for joining us. Tell us what you love with hashtag EduDrone on social media and we'll see you again next year.